This July Hospice of the Big Country is holding its Life After Loss Bereavement course to help those who are going through the loss of a loved one. Here to tell us how you can join them is Bert Williams. Thank you for joining us today. Good to be back. And so I was just asking you, how long have y'all been doing these bereavement classes? It's been going on for a long time. Mm -hmm. I've been involved with it for, I think, four or five years, something on that order. And so what is the main purpose of this course? Well, it's just an acknowledgement of the fact that any time you lose a loved one uh, to death, that uh, there's a period of process of grief that in involved. And we think that uh, it is helpful if a person has opportunity to sort of uh, expedite that, to express it, and to engage in the process with others who are of a similar uh, kind of experience. And as a result, um, it seems like that it, it really does help us deal with our loss. And so what type of person would be good to come out for this course? Anyone who has had uh, <coughs> the loss of a loved one, of course. We, we think it probably is best for somewhere around at least three months to <coughs> months before um, they actually try and come to the class because there's so much going on in the early stages that uh, it's difficult to uh, really, <coughs> really be uh, more than emotionally, uh, more emotionally engaged after. And when is this, <coughs> excuse me, I got a cough in my throat. <coughs> when is this course going to start up? We start Monday at 10.30 in the morning, this coming Monday morning. Okay, and how can we get more information on it? Okay, we can do that by calling 793-5450. And tell everyone out there how good this course is for someone who has gone through the loss of a loved one. It seems like, and we get that feedback from our folks mm -hmm. uh, a lot who go through it, that it, has, it is one mm -hmm. of the things that helps them the most. And frankly, the thing that helps them probably as much as anything is hearing each other share mm -hmm. of what the loss is like. Because what they discover is that there's an awful lot of uh, mm -hmm. uh, commonality in, in the loss. There's every loss is unique, but there's a lot of commonality in it. And when you discover, I'm not alone in mm -hmm. this, and I'm not weird because yeah. of some of the things that I'm experiencing. Mm -hmm. It's just a really encouraging thing. And then there's a lot of tips that come. Yeah. Uh, this worked for me. It may not work for you, but this worked for me. And uh, you might want to think about it. And a lot of folks pick up on that. And so they profit from it as a result. Okay. And then tell us how often you have these courses at hospice. We have them several times during mm -hmm. the year. Uh, and they run a period of five uh, sessions. Uh, and this one's on a Monday from, okay. 30, uh, from 1030 to 12 uh, for the five weeks. All right. Well, Bert, we appreciate you coming on our show today. Sorry about that. I got a tickle in my throat. Sometimes it just yeah, happens. Oh, it does. It sir. happens. Of course. If you would like to come out for the Life After Loss course, they will meet in the conference room at Hospice of the Big Country at 4601 Hartford every Monday from July 2nd through the 30th. Each meeting will go from 1030 a.m. to noon. The course is free, and you can get more information by calling 793-5450 or go to westtexasrehab.org.